and introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 70.5 kilograms and trains under Hernando Sobotic out of MMA FFT with an undefeated amateur record for one win for zero defeats. Make some noise for Baz Damarell! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 70.6 kilograms and trains under Vincent Perry at Puma Gym. For an under, with an undefeated record for three wins for zero defeats, make some noise for Dom Aston! Versus Baz Demerrill. Both right. men Don't undefeated. You good. You good. So Both men looking to continue their win streaks to near an eighth and cage side with Ben Vickers round one. Here we go. It's an interesting game plan from Dom. He normally likes to stand from my memory. So um, attacking the grapple early, but Bass. Um, Bassery's turned the position and here we go, and then we're throwing some shots. There might have been a little clash of heads in there. We speak of Dom Aston liking to strike. He burst onto the scene at Eternal MMA 54 against Patrick Hill. And he, nice he beat Jaron Wag in his last fight, and he's looking to add Baz to that list. But Baz proving a tough customer here early in round one, Ben. Yeah, absolutely. The wrestling's good. He's, absorb he's absorbing a few leg kicks. Um, early and it's moving his leg quite a lot whether that's his defense he, he moves his leg out with the kick or whether they're having the impact they look like they're having it's a dangerous one for the judges that good head position being used by dom here he's got the underhook on the same side which is always dangerous but baz is very very good with his balance he's very composed in, in the wrestling and dom's the pressure there dom's cut Maybe that clash of heads did uh, yeah. open a small nick. Seems to, blood seems to be going around the outside of the eye. This, this is probably what Dom's about. He wants to be in bloody fights. He wants, <laughs> he wants to be in, in, in a state and pushing through. A different breed. Well, if you remember his first fight against Patrick Hill back in October of 2020, He's got to watch his head here. We'll come back to that later. This is a tough position for Dom Aston. Yeah, this, he's, he's, oh, he's been stuck. He's fought the hands really well here. He's, I think he's good. Well, didn't the tables turn quickly when it was all Dom Aston? Fantastic grappling from Bass through there and, it, and aggression. It's turned in favor of Baz de Merrill, and you can hear Jarrett Wilbraham in the corner of Dom Aston go back to plan A, he says, and here's that standing and bang you spoke of earlier, Ben. Look, these boys are very good. Um, Bassy's only had one fight. He's experienced, he's, he's unflappable almost. He's, he's been in some bad spots. And, He's had Dom in a couple of bad spots, and that was a good escape. That was a deep choke, and, and Dom did all the right things really quickly, which is the only way to get out of those things. <laughs> like, you think about If you have to think about that, yeah, it's too late. So that's all muscle memory, which is fantastic. Well, he's right in front of his corner, Ben. Right in front of Jarrett Rubelham. I think the corner's happy at this stage. You know, they, they felt a bit of adversity. They've come out of it. He's still strong. He's on the front foot. Absolutely. He's got to watch those knees. I really love the head pressure. Yeah. It's, for me, that's, that is a, a basic fundamental skill that a lot of people don't possess. It's been constant, hasn't it, been throughout this round? Yeah, and it's just another weapon. It's just What's another way of making girl? life difficult for your opponent, which is what it's all about. <laughs> well, the judges have their hands full here in this right, bout. You good? You good? Round two. As Pete Hickmont signals us for round two. Oh, what a kick. Landed too. And he's got caught with a knee there, but he keeps pressing forward. These boys are good. This is a head position he's got to watch here. He's just getting a bit slack on the head position when he's looking for this single and he's compromising his neck. And, and Bassery's shown that he, he likes attacking the neck. That's a better head position. But it's good defense too. He's stuffing the head. He's doing really well. Yeah, nice and some damage, which makes Dom move. He's not giving Dom much of a Good, choice there. Kind of, but smart. He's, he, for me, you've got X amount of time on a takedown, and then you need to think about something else. Because Absolutely. once I get established in a position, it's going to be really hard for you to get that. So chaining the wrestling together now. <clears throat> I'd like him to switch back to that, that better head position and re-pummel. What's that cage, Dom? Come on, let's work. You're right. Although right, Baz. Baz finds himself up against the cage, Ben, 
It's a bit of round for Bez here in round yeah, two. Yeah, but it's about what the judges want to see, which is, you know, that's the sport. <laughs> but and, and you never know what they want to see, but he's been pressed against the cage, which is, that can't look good. You know, if you can't see, and sometimes we can't see from our angle, so if you're not seeing those little dirty boxing shots and stuff going in, you're losing the fight. You know? But look, he's a he's reverse position and that outside trip. Outside trips are always tough because it's, it's, if someone sees it coming, they just step over it. So it needs to be better set up or, or switch to the inside. Couldn't agree more with you, Ben Vickers. Proud to have you as our fight analyst this evening, adding plenty of color here in the commentary booth tonight. No one better to do it than yourself as There's Dominic Aston goes kick. low. A big right hand. To the oh, body, body goes Aston. There. Yes, Ben. Oh, big shot. That big right hand's been looking for a home and it found it. And he's straight but, back on him now. But both boys are bloodied up now. And Dominic Aston taking a leaf out of Baz's book, a flying knee, unsuccessful. I'd just like to see Battery return his jab back to his chin. And he might avoid some of these right hands that he's shipping. Well, they're right the in front are, of us, they're, they're trading right the now. Break. Get out of the cage, mate. And that's a, that's, that's, a clear, that's a clear cage grab. <laughs> Well, look, wow. fortunately, fortunately, it didn't um, help him. Otherwise, there might be sanctions for that. But, um, Dom's relentless. He's 20 seconds to go in the round. Great knee there. Paz is starting to feel the pressure of this fight now. Mm. He shipped a lot of damage this round, and he's been on the back foot. Well, 10 seconds down, and then again, back and forth, making it uh, harder for our judges here, cage side. Yeah, look, this round was a bit easier to oh, score. So let's find out. Dominic Aston sent a cage straight away. Beautiful. Leg kicks, yeah. If he could be busy and just move his feet a little bit more and avoid the grappling and stay at range, I'd be really interested to see this one in a striking match. But Baz seems to back up and get backed up against the cage and then we end up in this position. Well, Baz is definitely landing. I mean, Dominic's face tells the story. A few stiff jabs landing early in round three for Dominic, um, for Baz, sorry. That's a nice hit knee position there, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful grappling from Don. I, I, I never get ceased to be amazed by how good these guys are. Man. And I know I keep saying, oh, this guy's good. Obviously, they're good. But that, that's my way of saying, wow, well, I knew you were good. But this is next level. What? Oh, no, totally. And speaking of good, this is a good position oh. for Dom Aston. It was, but not so much anymore. As Baz starts to pour on the pressure now, using all of his tools. And they're big shots that are just creeping through the gloves, Ben. Vicious Pete Hickmon watching here. very closely. Vicious ground and pound. He's got to fight back. Beautiful from Dom. He knew he had to get up. He couldn't ship too much more punishment like that. And this is a fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is... Ronaldo, Tom there, Tom there. Well, great oh, acknowledgement from Dom Aston there. He said that I catch you low. Baz acknowledged. And uh, he's taking uh, his time here as Dom tries to rally the crowd here at the Southport Sharks. Good. Good a couple of minutes. Take your time. And why wouldn't you, Ben? All right. Talk yeah, look, uh, this kick to the toolbox is brought to you by Belving Industry Training. Yeah, look. <laughs> Ready? You sure? Good. Very clever, Come Blake. On. Very clever. Blake, they don't call him Hollywood for nothing. Blake <laughs> Hollywood Richardson. You missed that out in the introductions, T. I'll make sure to reintroduce him. Coming up to our main card. Look. So we're back to the action on our undercard here, then. Yeah, now it's coming down to a question of who wants it more, I, I think. Well, it's that classic saying, isn't it, Ben? We're in the trenches now. We, we are now. You've got all the lines coming there's out a, here tonight. There's blood. <laughs> there's low blows, there's Come eye pokes. Oh, oh, well, speaking of one for one, a shot to the toolbox and an eye poke. Yeah, and there's no read for that one, you but there. it's just... Um, no, you with me. You, there. It's just a terrible thing to happen, and it's just a, a nature of the sport oh, right. sometimes. Yeah, like with right. with open-handed gloves, the, finger. the the fingers protrude, and, and occasionally they, right. they find an eyeball, and it's not a fun uh, thing to happen. If end, you've ever right. been poked in the eye, you can probably sympathise with uh, Dom right now. It's yeah. uh, and it can be very detrimental to your ability to fight. You know, if you, if you can't see, ask Michael Bisping, <laughs> the man who fought and won a world title with one eye. With one eye, Ben. It's pretty incredible, but yeah, you know. They don't want to screw around with the vision. So the doc's in there. He'll check it out. And um, good? Dom's good, good to, to go. continue. Yeah, he's good yeah. to go. 
he'd have to be blind to not continue. He was never going to take it. He's enjoying this. This is what he, he wants to do. And he's in the middle. Well, time's back on. Here we go. It's a full house. I haven't it's even noticed here. All the seats are full. <laughs> Sold out here at the South. Oh, Shots. what a knee that was. Baz is opening up now. I mean, Baz has got some exceptional striking. He just he just gets caught um, and backed up to the cage a little bit too often. If he could just get a little bit more lateral movement, I think he'd be a very, very dangerous proposition. And he's this is his second fight. We're back in this um, cage wrestling position. Dom's head position's dropped a little bit. Maybe his eyes are a bit sore. He doesn't want to press it against someone else's head, which I understand. And look at what Bas a kick. Basiri opening up here. Uh, this is an early contender for fight of the night, but which one hasn't been? Oh, Ooh, that low leg kick hurt. All of them worthy the fight of the night performances, but he's hurt Baz there as Baz backs up. Spinning wheel kick just misses. Last 10, Baz has got to go for it. I think um, Dom's just done enough for me. And here comes, here comes to Merrill. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of incredible action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest by unanimous decision for your winner in the round.